Oh, there you go. Okay. Got one on right. Alex. For a nice little sauger there to start the day. Hi right, folks, today on Midwest Outdoors, we're out at Zippo Bay Resort. We're fishing with Nick Painovich and we got his chief man on the ice with us, Alex Reinhardt. Alex just put the first fish in the box there. Nice little sauger, that one will eat for dinner. Gonna have a good time and catch some fish. Been looking at it a long time. He finally decided he was gonna eat it. Feels a little better this time. Tugging on you? Nice one, there you go. Sauger or walleye? That's walleye. a walleye. There you go. We're getting the mix this morning. All right, we're out here right before Christmas, sure. Nick. How long have you guys been fishing this yeah, year? Yeah, we've been fishing a couple of weeks. The water clarity has been good. Uh, yep. The bite's been strong. Yep. The ice isn't quite ready for the vehicle traffic. Yep. Uh, we put them in transport and bring them out from the resort or the lake shore. And uh, it's a great time of the year to get in that early yep. bite. There he is. That is a nice sauger. There we go. Yeah, yeah that's, it is. He got that one all he the way down, too. He definitely got it. I didn't see it. My bobber was under the ice. Oh, and that's that dropper that's thing. That's the too. kind of aggression we like to see, you yeah, know. Yeah. These early ice fish got one motive, and that's to fill up their bellies. Now, how much ice do you need, Nick, to really get that road system up and rolling then, usually? Sure. Well, we like to get about 14 inches. Yep. And then we can usually let the full size vehicles go out and the wheelhouses and everybody else. A ton of miles of road system yeah, out absolutely. here. Like, what, People, 50, 60 miles probably out here on the other side. I wouldn't side. doubt it by midwinter. Yep. We got roads in real shallow for yep. our spear people and that morning, evening walleye bite. And then eventually we slowly move out from the 20 foot water out to the 28, 30, 32 by midwinter. Yep, you know, and all those roads have signs on them. There's a map on shore, easy to follow. And you know right. what? One of those roads always leads to the igloo bar. Get them? Yeah. Oh, it's a nice one. Perch, big oh, perch. look at that perch. Holy cow. Yeah. Nice that's a, right. that's that's a jumbo, a yeah. <laughs> the bonus fish. Didn't I ask about the perch about 10 <laughs> minutes ago and brought him one? Maybe the whole school of them showed up. Yeah. <laughs> Alex is catching perch over there. Yeah, that's a nice perch. I get a nice perch. We always yeah. like mixing up the pail a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah. Well, and, uh, definitely the walleyes and saugers. The pike is the other variety that people really come up for, don't they? Absolutely. Hey, you got another I one. I think Look the at perch that. are in. I think Alex but beat yeah. you there. Yeah, he did, but this one's still edible. Yeah. But yeah, there's no question. Uh, Early ice, you know, with tip-up fishing can be really good out yep. here for big pike, you know, oh, yeah. those 40 got, inch pike, uh, you, Lake of the Woods is well known for them. Yep. And, uh, you put course, the dark houses out at that time of year too, absolutely. right? Absolutely, yep. right in the mouth of Zippo Bay, uh, early December can be real good. And uh, the newer regulation, you can tip up fish as well as is dark house yep. here. So it's a good time to get a big pike, just like late winter. You got him. Oh, big pike. Look at that. Oh, hey, look at that eagle, Paul. <laughs> 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 hey, that fish been eating. Look at that. It's like he's got a balloon in his belly. <laughs> we got perch, we got walleyes, we got sauger, you got the pout. We've seen the 20 pound northern swim by. We got the whole uh, whole food chain working today. Yeah, absolutely. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> Well, people, they like to eat these these days, don't they? Yeah, there's yeah. some nice back straps on this one. Back yeah. straps, and what do they, boil them? Yeah, boil them up. You can do it in seven up. Yep. Boy, that is a dandy. You keeping them? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, what do we got? Sauger. <laughs> nice one. Yeah. <laughs> like well that. Fed, for sure. Wasn't even paying attention. He come up and smacked it. I'm going to eat that one. Beautiful fish. We're back on shore. You got some beautiful cabins back there too. That's one of the things your guests really appreciate, don't yeah. they? Staying in the yeah. cabins. Yeah, they're fully winterized. Yep. We got the regular cabins, uh, one and two bedroom, and then of course our log cabins are three to six bedroom units. Yep. Just finished building a new nice two bedroom unit. They're all stainless steel kitchens in them and uh, very comfortable. Yeah, and a lot of times when people are coming up in the winter time, they're getting an ice house with their cabin stay. It's Absolutely. part of a package yeah. deal, isn't it? Exactly, right. You know, those big cabins are popular with the corporate groups coming up too, and when guests are here, they meal plans available, so if you don't want to do anything besides come up and catch fish, they can take care of you. Get them? No, oh, nice one. Let's see if I can get in there and help you. One of Nick's guys, Tanner, walked in the house, and the first thing he said was, 
your bobbers don't. <laughs> We're messing around, but they got a great group of guys that work the ice. Alex here, he's kind of the lead dog in that group, but why don't you give us a rundown of what the day is like out here for you guys. Well, we start out about 5 o'clock in the morning, make sure the ramps and the bridge look good. Yep. Close to 80 houses out there, so yep. we get the heats on, get them fired up, so you guys can get fishing. You check the, the house people, what, twice a day then? Twice a day, uh, 10 o'clock in the morning and then 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Yep. These guys do a lot of work out here, and you know the other thing when you're up here, it's always good to ask them for fishing tips because they see a lot of fish get caught. Found one? Yep. Oh, nice, huh? Yeah, he started to feed him heavier the more he came up. Yeah, that's a beauty right there. Yeah. Well, there is a great way to end the day in there, Nick. Nice catch, nice 16 inch walleye there. Sure. Beautiful day, bucket full of fish. I tell you what, we've caught a ton of them today. These guys got some great fishing up here and they know how to enjoy winter. Of course, this is the home of the world famous Igloo. Anytime you want to come up and have a good time, all you got to do is look up ZippleBayResort.com. For Alex Reinhardt and Nick Painovich, I'm Greg Jones. More Midwest Outdoors is coming right up.